Hi everybody, I'm Cheer Collab. It is Thursday, back again, again, for the third time. This is sweet. Uh, well, it's kind of the fourth time because I made that video for Liz, but look at my bow. I don't know if you can see because of the light, but it's like breast cancer awareness, which is why I'm wearing a lot of pink, even though I hate pink, but it's, you know, breast cancer month, so I'm big and all, yeah. <clears throat> okay. So today, I'm going to give you some tips on how to get noticed by your coaches um, at practices and or tryouts. I'm pretty good to talk to about this, uh, seeing as it's a new year with a new team, with a new coach that has no idea who I am or what I'm capable of. Um, and when we first learned our routine, I was stuck in the very back for like everything um, because I can't do a back handspring. I touch my nose a lot in these videos. I notice that. I'm always like... Sorry, I apologize. And my hair. I touch my hair all the time. Anyways, um, but now we're two weeks away from competing, and I'm actually in the front more and more, um, so here are some tips for you. Don't complain. Try to be positive about wherever you are in the routine. Go home and practice and practice and practice and practice until you can do this routine in your sleep. Be sharp and loud at all times. Make sure you never stop smiling, even when you're not performing. When you do perform, make lots of facials. <laughs> if you are stuck in the back for reasons like you can't do a back handspring, um, you should try to talk to your coach in private um, about accepting what you can't do, but try to emphasize what you can do. Like, I'm in the back for standing back handsprings, but now I'm in the front for dance. But of course, when talking, don't beg or sound angry. Or, um, just try to reason with her. Don't get lost in the background. Remember, everyone can't be in the front. But you need to work it just as hard as the girls do in the front. And if your coach sees that, she just might move you up. Don't miss practices. Coaches remember that kind of stuff, and if you absolutely have to miss, you should really get a sub to fill in for you. Be open to change. If your coach moves you to a spot that has completely different moves, don't whine about it. Just learn it. Do not go around telling your teammates that if you're not in the front for something, you are going to quit. Because it shows um, how undedicated you are to the squad. My team has so many of those people, it gets on my nerves. I mean, of course, when I was in the back for everything, I was like, you know, I really, really want to be in the front for something, but I'm not going to quit if I'm not. Everyone's like, I'm quitting if I'm not in the front for dance. I'm quitting if I'm not doing this. But <sighs> it just, it shows really bad team. Um, it shows that you're not dedicated. And uh, if that stuff gets back around to your coaches, they're probably never going to put you in the front. Okay. And finally, have fun. You need to be serious at times, but cheerleading is supposed to be fun. Let your personality shine through and people will start to take notice. So good luck with all of that. If you have any questions, be sure to put them down there. Um, if you leave really sweet comments, you know I'll put them down there as well. Because that'd be sweet. Because I really like comments. I like when people subscribe to my channel and subscribe to this channel. I like when people leave really nice comments, and I like when people favorite and like videos and enter my contests. I'm going to give a few shout outs from the comments from last week, so this is kind of an incentive you need to comment down now, right now, and I'll mention you because it's awesome. Okay, um, the winner of last week's contest, Atlanta Jayhawks, uh, she left me a really sweet comment. She told me she loved me and that I'm an awesome cheerleader. and. It was really nice. It made me smile. It's like, yay, people like me. Cheer for Life 618 told me she was jealous of my hair because it's so long. Let me tell you, I get that so much, but I really don't understand why. My hair is really not that amazing. It, it's just long and thick and really hard to manage, but that's bad. <laughs> and last but not least, the tumble one, two, three. She told me it was a great video and that she loves watching cheer collection videos. Um, I'm sure that wasn't directed, you know, just toward me. It was toward the whole collab, but I did think it was nice of her to leave a comment at all. So, or he, I, I, I'm not sure genders. I'm assuming you're all girls, <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so thank you for leaving nice comments. 
Um, hope you like the little shout outs. Um, and you need to leave some more comments down below now. Do it. <laughs> this week's contest is going to be a little different. First week we only had two people enter. And this week we only had like a few people enter. Um, so this week I want you to send a picture of you in a fan sign saying something along the lines of um, I love cheer collab Thursdays, you know? Um, and there's gonna be more than one winner, obviously, so if I like it, you'll be in the video. And, I mean, like, why not? We, this channel has over 200 subscribers. Like, that is some good exposure for your channel. And it would be really nice to know that you love me, because I love you, all of you who watch. It's amazing. <laughs> um, and this is also beneficial for those who don't post videos. Um, but still, you know, would like to be on the channel, so taking a picture and sending it to me, um, I'll put the email you can send it to down there, the little down bar, um, as long, along, as long, along with the link to my personal channel and form spring and all that good stuff. Um, so please enter, <laughs> and comment below if you want me to continue the cheer contests. Alright, so, I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week.